Okay, guys, uh, sorry, the video as length has been completed. So I'm just recording as in the second video, uh, the same VPC concept. So consider that you have VPC one that we discussed in the uh, last uh, video. Uh, so where you have like uh, availability zones, you cannot uh, you know, uh, use the same uh, IP in different availability zones, right? And then if you uh, come here uh, down, uh, you have like, you can use, you create an, another region, another VPC, uh, like uh, you create in the same VPC, right? So, but what will happen uh, in the same region, you're creating an, another VPC consider, but you want to contact connect between the VPC one and VPC two. So what will happen in this case, you will have the same IP conflict. So it will not work. So it is uh, advised or it is the mandatory condition. You want like two uh, VPC to connect, then you need to have the same different IP subnet to be allocated for this so that the uh, IP connectivity can be true. Okay, this, that's what here they mentioned here. You need a high, unique IP address. CID is nothing but your IP, so IP uh, subnet. This is what we call, they simply call it as a CIDR. That's, a, that, that's how the, uh, you know, the name changes, right? So they need to change something from, you know, uh, from normal networking to the cloud advanced networking, they need to, you know, shorten things and they need to use the same different names for the same concept. So that's what they are doing it. And uh, here we can, uh, the same thing, we can get subnet for EC2 instance from VPC side range. Subnets are a availability zone specific and they cannot span from one availability zone to another. So that's what is saying. This subnet is local to this availability zone. This cannot spam across the another availability zone. So these are the condition. So next is like this. Uh, next, when we discuss about the uh, subnets, okay, uh, subnets, you know, right? Uh, IP address basically, right? IP address there will be, you know, it. Uh, there will be a private subnet and there will be a public subnet. Same thing here. They are using it. If you assign uh, once you create an EC2 instance, EC two instance, basically a small VM machine on the physical server. Okay, once you create this, like you can, there will be a network interface, right? Network interface, exit interface. So this network interface, you can use a, either a public IP or either a private IP. So when you use a public IP, it will be same like when you have uh, your uh, gateway router, right? If you are a service provider, allocate a public IP here, then you will have like 100.0.0.1 slash 24 i'm just uh, just giving you a random ip so one public ip will be allocated here so that you, if you want to connect this ec2 instant this router want to connect or the users under here want to connect uh, to the uh, internet they will be able to connect same thing when you have the ec2 instance you configure the uh, you know the public uh, ip public subnet then it will have the route to the internet gateway in this routing table and basically this they use like both ipv4 and ipv6 and ipv6 uh like if you are not using it then it's okay if you are using if you are pressing like clicking ipv6 then always the uh you know public address space will be assigned to that ec2 instance next is the uh private ip a private ip you know right it's it's a normal like uh, then range so private ip if you use you don't you can you will not be able to uh, connect to the internet for that you need to attach this uh, to the uh, nat they they have something called a nat gateway same like here uh, when they say nat gateway it, it, that, that's uh, my understanding is nothing but you do the uh, natting and the uh, exit gateway right so same thing when you uh, map this ip here what it does automatically, it will convert your private IP to your public IP in the exit, and then they'll be able to connect to the internet. The same, the natting only, they call, they, they are like same natting concept only. So they are, uh, del, they are mentioning is as a NAT gateway. So you need to, you know, um, merge both concepts so that it will be easy to understand yeah and then the uh connective so always when you have like uh i have like you can see like one hour like i have one ec2 instance ec2 one instance one ec2 instance two okay when i have this so always this will be connected with 
private IP. Whether uh, consider like whether you uh, the exit interface you configure this is in public, and this for this EC2 instance you created in private. Okay, still they'll connect via the private IP, internal private IP, right? So internally they'll be connected via the uh, private IP here. It doesn't matter whether you configure a public or whether you configure a private. When you have two in situ instance and you want to like use the same availability zone you want to connect, then uh, like the public IP, the private IP will be used. Also, uh, also between the different availability zone, also the private IP will be used between the EC2 instance. Yeah, just to note that. And last one, uh, and this is the network. Uh, so same I mentioned you guys, right? When I read, I was like, it's same like natting. They are they are mentioning as a public and private subnet for uh, IP subnetting. Like they are they are telling it same CIDR. They are using the actual name CIDR. Uh, and you see the ACL, right? to control the what it is used for control the ingress and slash egress traffic so you if you are using cisco routers you will use like acl in acl out in the exit or interface right so you can filter the packet out whether which traffic is supposed to go and which traffic is supposed to allowed so you use the acl so that's what they can they are mentioning as an nacl so they they used we use ACL we tell like ACL or filter list so in here in AWS they are telling network access control list so default all the subnets will be added by in the VPC so we have you know, all the subnets will be added to this and then if you want to allow like uh, by default allow all ingress or egress if you want to block something yes you can use this uh, ACL control list to block it yeah so yeah this is what we discussed so far here you can see my screen uh, you have the uh, aws account aws uh, you know cloud and you have the uh, my account aws account i logged into my account then i'll select the region here i can select the region as london i can select india or i can select uh, you know any region i can select in that there are two availability zone are there you can see west 2c and west 2a then here uh, you can see that cider range which we said this is called supernetting supernet subnet and then i am doing the subnetting from the normal network right subnetting and for one location for one site uh, basically site a i allocated this ip for site b i allocated this ip simple concept right you just have to map it then you have the local routing table will be there then you have the uh, NACL which we discussed the ACL uh, in order to control the ingress and egress traffic and this is what the uh, you know normal uh, you know the uh, basics of VPC and there are a lot more are there like uh, that we'll be discussing in the uh, you know upcoming sessions about how actual uh, data center uh, setup uh, in the uh, AWS, uh, you know, a network, how they route the traffic between uh, VPC to uh, one data center to uh, within the availability zone or one VPC to another VPC. So basically, uh, we'll be uh, learning in the next video about the uh, AWS networking, how they switch the traffic between VPC to VPC, one availability zone to another availability zone. Okay. And then we'll also discuss about there what are the, uh, what is the type of, uh, you know, in the data center, what are the setup, whether it's a two tier or three tier. So that data center, what protocol they are using uh, inside that data center. So that we'll be uh, discussing in the next video. And guys, if you like this video and if you want, if you think that this video will be helpful for the uh, network engineers or anyone who is like uh, doing already doing a cloud, AWS cloud, if they want to share some feedback and then, you know, you can share, the, share our YouTube uh, link to them and then ask them to subscribe and like the video and it will be helpful to reach the other guys. And thank you guys very much for watching also supporting so far my youtube channel thank you